Gude. Well, I stumbled upon this self-soldering clock kit. Since I already have some videos about building and unboxing other unusual clocks, links below, I thought I will give this kit a try. I picked it up for about 3 euros and a few weeks later it arrived. Interestingly, it was set to run on 9 to 12 volts, however, the description indicated 6 volts and 5 volts. I think I have to look it up later. The components are straightforward. IC plus bed, display units, battery holder, resistors, transistors, capacitors, LED, diodes, quartz and a green board. It also came with instructions, a datasheet, list of components, a circuit diagram, unfortunately all in Chinese. But that's not a problem since all components and values are printed on the board. I start by measuring and putting in place the individual resistors. To hold them in place I bend the legs outwards by 45 degrees. Et voila! Let's do the second pair of resistors. And the third. The LEDs care about polarity. Be sure to insert the long legs in the hole with the tiny plus symbol. Same applies for the film capacitors. The big ribbon with the minus symbol and the shaded area on the ground will help. The ceramic capacitors can be put in either way. Align the flat face of the transistors with the marking on the board. Attention, there are two different types of transistors. Check the numbers. I placed and double checked all components that could be bent to place. Let's solder them to the board and cut the wires to get rid of the mess on the back. Ta-da! Now it's time to add the bed for the IC, the other components like power adapter and battery holder, quartz and of course the display units. To prevent these short-legged components from falling off the board, I fixated them to the board temporarily using some tape. Again, I am using the tiniest solder diameter with integrated flux for clean solder joints. Insert the IC in the bed. It has a notch on one side that must face to the left in this case. I checked the manual again and realized that I had to solder in some blank wires here and here. Wires are not included. Okay, time to light it up. Woohoo, when trying to fasten the connector, I broke the contacts. Therefore, I had to use the power of bodging. Inserting button cell battery to keep the time. Attach 9 volt block to power the display. The clock is operated with one button only. It is really straightforward. Single click to start it or put it to sleep, long click enters or switches menus. Single click in the menus, however, changes the values. Now, finally dim the lights. The name on eBay was AT89C2051. That's the IC. Wait, 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 about the power supply. I now hooked it up to my professional power supply. Yes, the metal is grounded. Let's start with 9 volts, since that is about the voltage the battery supplied. I removed the button cell. We are just looking at the main power and don't care if we lose the settings. Slowly decreasing the power. Now the LED turned dark. And I would say about 4.5 volts, it stopped working reliably. Let's go up. Again starting with 9 volts and increasing. 12 volts, no problem. I stop here, I don't recall soldering in some overpower protection. I don't want to damage it. In conclusion, very nice easy exercise. I had fun assembling it and it has a very versatile power intake downsides. Once it is finished, it is unlikely that I will use it, since it is just a board that is not easy to integrate anywhere without extending the wires of the display units, but well worth the 3 euro. That's it, thanks a lot for watching!